What do you get when you mix tornadoes with sharks? Why, a sharknado, of course. This is the type of movie to watch when you're high. No sharks were harmed in the making of this film. Hi, Popcorn Recap here. Today, we'll talk about a 2013 action-adventure comedy movie called Sharknado. Before we start, be sure to like the video, drop a comment, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you dig the summary to support the channel. A strong tornado pulls a great number of sharks from the ocean. Why, yes, this is a shark members-only hurricane club. Meanwhile, the captain of a boat that's illegally harvesting shark fins makes a deal with an Asian businessman. Yeah, he just had to be Asian, huh? Later, the boat collides with a storm and sharks begin to attack the crew. The captain finds that the businessman is trying to escape with the money, so he shoots him in the leg. Suddenly, a shark devours him. And then the boat gets devoured by sharks too, along with the captain. Whoever made this either really loves sharks or hates them with a passion. Later on the beach, Finn nods at Diana who's preparing to surf. Finn surfs while his friend Buzz rides a water jet ski. Soon, they quickly notice the looming clouds so they ride away. In the bar near the ocean, Nova works as a waitress. She sees that a hurricane is approaching from the news and worries about Finn, but George assures her he'll be fine while he, uh, gropes her? Ew, creepy George. She rejects his advances and while they seem to be good friends, it's a little weird. At the beach, Deanna and Finn banter and compete against each other. Suddenly, a shark throws Deanna off balance as Finn shouts at her to get out of the water. Unbeknownst to the peaceful beachgoers, there's an army of sharks heading their way while Deanna struggles and gets eaten. Finn warns everyone at the beach but they don't hear him and some get attacked. Soon, a shark circles around Finn but Boz distracts it and gets bitten instead. Finn saves him and they get out. Meanwhile, seeing the panic at the beach, Nova runs to Finn while Boz gets patched up by a rescuer. Later at the bar, Boz shares their encounter with George who asks them if they'll be surfing soon. Finn says the storm should push away the sharks. Suddenly, Nova makes advances on Finn who recoils as he reminds her he's her boss. Buzz and George tease her as she shakes her head disapprovingly. Later, the news announces that Hurricane David is fast approaching and widespread flooding is expected. Finn calls April, his ex-wife, to check on her and Claudia, their teenage daughter. However, April is hostile and dismissive, so she doesn't listen to Finn's warning of the incoming flood. She hangs up on him. Ugh, remind me not to say I do too soon. Finn looks out the window and sees the incoming storm, so he decides to close the bar. He tries to send Nova, George, and Boz home, but they all want to accompany him. Suddenly, a shark breaks through the window and attempts to attack the bar patron. Nova stabs it in the head with a broomstick. Shark fin soup, anyone? Finn, Boz, and Nova grab weapons while George stumbles on his drunk butt. He grabs a bar stool. Did you know that sharks hate bar stools? It makes them uncomfortable. The CGI waves devour the bar as the people scatter. Suddenly, a shark corners Nova, but George hits it with the bar stool and helps her up. He calls her kiddo. Okay, you're getting creepier, George. Meanwhile, Buzz almost gets mauled by a shark, but luckily, there's an oxygen tank that rolled right by him, courtesy of the producer. He plugs the shark's mouth with it as Finn helps him up. Finn shoots the tank and it explodes in the shark's mouth. Ayo, the sharks don't want to be on the land too, you know? Suddenly, the nearby Ferris wheel dislodges and rolls towards the scattering crowd, threatening to flatten them. I mean, don't run in a straight line, just go to the side. The wheel collides with a building and destroys it. This is an Avengers-level threat, y'all. As the storm passes, Finn and Nova feel distraught over the destroyed bar. Buzz comforts him, claiming that insurance will cover it. Last time I checked, insurance doesn't cover shark-related destruction, though. Finn is worried about April and Claudia, so he plans on checking on them. Buzz volunteers to join, but Nova is shocked to hear Finn has an ex-wife and daughter. However, with nowhere else to go, she joins them anyway. Ya girl is thirsty for that Finn soup. Wink wink. Later, the group ride through the floodstock footage and CGI rain to go check on Finn's family. Suddenly, they're surrounded by hostile sharks that bump through them like hormonal teenagers at a party, so they aim for higher ground. Didn't the sharks come from the sky, though? The group enters a road section and passes through people stuck on the road. Suddenly, they get attacked by sharks, so Finn, being the hero that he is, decides to help them. Nova, Buzz, and George follow suit. Unfortunately, George gets mauled in the process and dies. Damn, that's unfortunate. Well, anyway, the group rides away. With his bachelor's degree in waveology, Finn maneuvers the car like a surfboard to ride through the incoming flood. As they drive through the city, the group is in awe of the CGI destruction that the hurricane caused. Upon reaching the house, Finn asks April to let them in, but she's currently being a biatch. Suddenly, a shark shoots out from one of the manholes, or I guess you can call it shark holes now. <laughs> Sorry. Nova shoots at the shark and kills it. Seeing this, April lets them in. Finn calls for Claudia, who also doesn't want to go with him despite the unsafe situation. Seriously, Finn, what the hell did you do to them? Suddenly, Colin, April's new retirement plan, interrupts and confronts Finn. He doesn't believe the direness of the situation, so he opens the window to see, but suddenly, 
A shark mauls him and Flood enters the house. Finn, Boz, and Nova try to help Colin, but to no avail. The shark approaches Finn and almost mauls him, but Nova shoots it dead. Another shark moves in, so Finn suggests that they move to the desert, but Claudia tells him that they have to get Matt, her brother who's in flight school first. Finn gets angry as he thought that Matt was vacationing in Tampa, but Claudia tells him it was Colin's idea to lie to him. With his superior plot armor, Finn decides to distract the shark so everyone can get to the car. Finn successfully impales the shark with a piece of metal and everyone manages to escape to the car. Later, the flood only gets worse and Finn's house crumbles behind them. In the car, Nova reloads the shotgun. Finn compliments her, saying she's kinda hot with a gun. Oh come on, not in front of your kid, Finn. That's weird. Seeing a stranded bus, Finn stops to help but April protests. She tells him that Matt could be in trouble, but Finn doesn't budge and still decides to help. I mean, he's got plot armor anyway, so what the hell? Finn decides to rappel from a bridge to extract the children from the bus. With cool music playing in the background, he enters the bus and helps everyone up. As Finn tries to return to the bridge, a shark Jada Smiths, I mean, entangles itself accidentally with his rope. Meanwhile, Boz is holding the rope on his own as Finn's daughter and April watch helplessly from the bridge. Jesus, what the hell are these people doing? There are literally 30 of you just watching the poor guy. Go help Boz or something. Finn cuts the rope and gets rid of the shark. He successfully returns to the bridge. Oh, now you're helping him. Suddenly, water spots form from afar, prompting Finn and the group to ride away. While riding through the city, suddenly, a shark chews through the car's roof. I never once thought in my life that I'd say those words in that order. Finn tries to fight it off with a baseball bat, but sharks are obviously immune to blunt weapons. You should know that, Finn. Nova shoots and kills it. Suddenly, the car stops and they smell a gas leak. Everyone decides that it's not just a nervous fart and they exit the vehicle. As everyone runs to safety, the car explodes. The group enters a convenience store. Apparently, the store has plot armor too since it looks untouched by the storm. While gathering supplies, Claudia cockblocks Nova by saying that Finn will just break her heart. Oh come on, your dad needs some action too, you know. Finn watches the news as the reporter announces that the hurricane is about to get stronger. Buzz points to a store that rents or sells movie cars. Well, living in LA has its perks, I guess. The group drives through the city in a new car when suddenly, the road is blocked by police. Finn tells Buzz that they have to get to Matt before the storm. Isn't that what your wife had been telling you all along? But no, you decided to be Captain America instead. Buzz runs through the blockage, so police chase after them. Finn sees a nitrous button for the car and presses it to gain distance from the pursuing police car. Whoa, Fast and the Furious, uh, sharks? As they get rid of the cops, they head to the flight school where Matt is supposed to be. Suddenly, a Sharknado forms nearby. Inside the building, they find Matt and a couple of other people. As Finn explains the situation, Matt questions if the sharks really can fly. Soon, one of the students gets sucked by the Sharknado, so Finn and the rest hide inside a room held by a flimsy door. Finn struggles to hold door. <laughs> I can do this all day. Finn struggles to hold the door as the wind gains strength. Again, why is no one helping the poor guy? The storm passes and they exit the building. Realizing that they can't fly through the weather, Finn decides to weather the Sharknado. <laughs> I'll see myself out. Matt suggests they gather supplies from a nearby supply store. Duh. Matt volunteers to drive a helicopter and drop bombs on the Sharknados with Nova. This will supposedly help thousands of lives. Despite Finn and April's protests, Matt and Nova are undeterred to do hero stuff. Later, Claudia begins acting like a jealous brat, but Finn assures her that he loves her. He reminds Claudia that he came to rescue her first before Matt. As Matt and Nova prepare their bombs, Nova shares her tragic encounter with a shark that killed her grandparents. Nova claims that it's the reason why she hates sharks. Matt comforts her when suddenly, Buzz interrupts their weird shark moment by showing them his bomb. Afterward, the group loads the bombs on the helicopter, but Buzz loads bombs on the jeepney and claims it's for plan B. Despite Finn's protests, Buzz convinces him to let him go. Matt and Nova begin to fly the helicopter towards the Sharknado. Sharks begin to approach them, but from the ground, Finn shoots at them. Nova drops the first bomb and the first Sharknado stops. Suddenly, a shark flies toward Finn, but he slices the fish in half with his chainsaw, anime style. Whoever wrote that scene, thank you. As Buzz loads the car with more bombs, a shark flies into him, biting his leg. They sure love Buzz's legs. Buzz gets pulled by the tornado and dies. Meanwhile, the Sharknado approaches civilians so Matt and Nova hurriedly throw the bomb at it. The Sharknado stops. Finn, April, and Claudia run to help the nearby civilians. Finn lights the swimming pool on fire because there's a shark there? I don't even… <sighs> on the third Sharknado, Matt and Nova fail to stop it because the bomb didn't land right. Matt decides to head back down, but a shark attacks the helicopter. Nova stabs the shark in the head, but in the ensuing chaos, falls from the helicopter and gets swallowed by another shark. Man, she just didn't have enough plot armor. With the generational plot armor coursing through his veins, Matt is able to maneuver the helicopter into safety. Finn helps him to safety, and as the real protagonist, decides to not let Matt steal his thunder. Finn aims to finally deal with the Sharknado on his own. Finn dives the bomb-equipped jeepney and heads to the side of the Sharknado. He activates the bomb, presses the nitrous, and jumps out of the vehicle. After doing a corny salute, of course. 
The bomb-ridden car explodes, stopping the Sharknado. However, sharks rain down on the city. Finn sees a shark about to devour Claudia, so he turns the chainsaw on, pushes Claudia out of the way, and enters the shark's mouth. Everyone screams, thinking his plot armor may have melted in the shark, but suddenly, they see movement in the beast's belly. They hear the comforting sound of the chainsaw and Finn emerges from the shark. Wait, he's grabbing something from inside the belly! Holy mother of god, it's Nova! Matt performs CPR on Nova, and she wakes up miraculously to say that she really hates sharks. And I really hate this movie. The sun emerges from the clouds as the civilians watched in relief. Nova finally tells Matt her real name, Jenny Lynn, and they smile at each other. Now, left without a retirement plan, April suddenly doesn't hate Finn and kisses him. The family looks at the aftermath of the event, injured but grateful to be alive. And I'm just grateful it's over. Subscribe for more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like. It really helps the channel.